Johnny Spector, who was not only a lyrical and musical influence on me, but she was also a massive, massive idol of mine. (laughs) So this is dedicated to Ronnie. I feel like I have to do this in order to give back and to feel a lot better. And I, I would like to hope that if she was still here, that this would make her feel very happy to be my friend. So when I first started talking to Ronnie Spector, life was a bit of a juggle. I was dating a a fella who I fell in love with and this was around the time I was just getting on with, you know, my series and editing it and putting it together and figuring out the structure. Along the side, I fell in love with a guy And this is where my first album came about with all the lyric work. And it was almost like the birth of writing my album. This was after COVID. I was talking to Ronnie Spector at the same time as I was writing my album. And the relationship that I had with this guy was very up and down. It was not perfect. But on a lyrical side of the spectrum, I found a lot of good inspiration because I was talking to Ronnie Spector whilst I was making love and getting high and blazing. And that was almost like the birth of how my album was written. But also it was the same birth that me and my friendship begun with Ronnie Spector. And this is the rest of the story and how it begun and how it started. I I miss Ronnie so much. I miss her so, so much. She was incredible even just to talk to even just to hang out with to speak to even if we didn't speak about music she was just an all-round very kind warm fun bubbly person who made you laugh who could flirt with you who could be there if you wanted them to be there for you and also she was just somebody that really understood my battles and everything that I've been through. I remember when I told Ronnie Spector about what happened to my appearance as a little girl and how I would I would find Ronnie's music at a very young age. It kept me on my feet regardless of what was throwing up my way through life. But speaking to Ronnie Spector after Covid finished, it was... <sighs> It it was it was something so special to me, and it was something that will stay with me because it, it the whole thing means a lot to me, you know. But it's something that if I could turn the clock back and and have a one more conversation with Ronnie, I think I would do absolutely practically anything to have that and to do that. Being in the gym and being committed to my self love and being committed to myself. And basically, I decided one day to build up the courage that I wanted to get in contact with Ronnie Spector. So how this all began, basically, I was on Instagram. I liked all of Ronnie Spector's fan photos. And then I ended up liking loads of Ronnie Spector's content on her very own Instagram and Facebook page. And I left a comment saying, Hi, Ronnie, I am your biggest fan. Um, I love you, your music is amazing and I've been a fan of yours for years. If you see this, I'm going to cry. Something along the lines of that, I commented. And, you know, I thought Ronnie Spector is not going to see this. She's going to be way too busy to even notice my comment on the internet on one of her Facebook posts. And out of nowhere, Ronnie Spector saw my comment and I I didn't realise, I didn't even see it coming when she noticed uh, the comment that I left. And then that was how our little friendship slowly grew. It's really, really special to me actually that I left a comment like that on her page because as a little girl, I remember being in primary school and secondary school and college and you know when you're in the car, someone's driving you home or you're in the taxi or you've just left a pub or you've just been out with family and friends, you know, or just going out. And I remember 
like my clearest memory that I do remember from hearing Ronnie Spector's music and the Ronettes was I think I must have been leaving like some sort of like hangout with a friend of mine and I heard Ronnie Spector's music play in the taxi and I must have been tipsy and I remember thinking to myself like oh my god who is this singer I love this person's voice so as the years gone by I've always been a huge fan of Ronnie Spector her music has always been a massive influence on me lyrically and musically, but mostly lyrically. Uh, I really can relate to Ronnie Spector in certain ways. And it's also the way that she writes her songs. That's really special to me. There's something about the way Ronnie Spector writes in her songs and how it's all to do with this love or walking in the rain to other songs like uh you baby or i wonder you know little things like that and so near the end of covid when me and ronnie specter became friends we would bounce off of each other when it came to a conversation like i would flirt with her and i'd make her laugh and then she'd be like no i'm with my husband I'm having a cigarette. Really like rock and roll attitude. And that's that's Ronnie Spector all over, isn't it, really? But we had loads of conversations together. So many interesting conversations to even just the casual, hello, how are you? How are you doing? And um, I think looking back on that time now, I'm really glad that I builded up the courage to speak to Ronnie Spector in such a way that I did during the time I was writing my first album while being with one of my recent ex-boyfriends, getting high, being naughty, being cheeky. And, you know, Ronnie Spector really mentored me actually a lot during the time I was writing my first album. She she really did push me. I remember when I said to her, yeah, I'm with my boyfriend. We we just, uh, we're just smoking some weed. And Ronnie would be like, okay, well, I hope you're cool. <laughs> However, the most clearest memory and best memory I do remember when speaking to Ronnie Spector was during the time I released my first ever music video, Left My Name. And that was a song dedicated to an ex-girlfriend of mine. And, you know, I remember messaging Ronnie Spector out the blue and I was like, hey, Ronnie, hope you're good. Uh, guess what? And she was like, what? Guess what, Ronnie? Guess what I'm doing? Do you want to know? And she'd be like, yeah, come on. Tell me. Ho tell me, Holly wanna know you know and then uh it kind of went from that to yeah ronnie specter i'm releasing a music video would you like to see it when it's released and this was ronnie specter's reaction she turned around and she said this oh my god holly you're so fucking cool i love your music you're so fucking cool that was really sweet and I feel like that memory is probably one of the most precious memories I think I'll always have. I'll always remember Ronnie Spector by that memory until the end of my time. Yeah, I remember when I received Ronnie's response in the messages and she sent me loads of like heart emojis and she was being really cute and we said other things as well but it was really nice to sort of go yeah I did a music video Ronnie Spector do you want to see it because you're like one of my favorite artists and also another favorite female artist of what I listen to so that's a little insight about mine and Ronnie Spector's friendship I feel very proud to kind of like represent Ronnie Spector in the Northampton music scene and I have been representing Ronnie Spector since the very end of Covid year 2020 to year 2021 during that time when Ronnie was alive before her passing I feel incredibly proud that I am representing Ronnie Spector and the Ronettes. That's a big step, huge achievement, something that will stay with me. And, you know, Ronnie Spector's career as a whole, it was a work of art. 
I don't think any other female musician is even possible to kind of sing like Ronnie Spector because we all know that there's only one freaking Ronnie Spector. There's only one of the Ronettes. I feel very lucky and honoured and grateful that in a way before Ronnie passed she told me and mentored me things that are important to guide me to that light and it's weird because whenever it rains now or it thunders a little I always think of Ronnie or if Ray gets you know like a ray of sunshine gets into my eye and it's really hot and very bright or if I'm just walking past underneath a cloud and it's heading my way. It makes me think of Ronnie. But yeah, I feel very honoured and grateful and extremely lucky to be representing Ronnie Spector and to be keeping her name and her music alive with my music and my platform and everything that I'm doing. I really believe that when I spoke to Ronnie Spector and when Ronnie got in contact with me, it happened for a reason. It didn't just happen. Dreams do come true. And I just want to say, um, actually even talking to any kind of artist or musician in anywhere of the industry. It's nice that in a way I have the power and the I have the power to keep Ronnie alive as long as I can. And it's nice that I can post her on my Instagram, to my YouTube, to other platforms and say nice things. Keep it alive as much as I can. Because to me I think that's important. Obviously, I was born in 1995 and I did not live through the 1960s. And obviously, I've never met Ronnie Spector. But the fact that I got to speak to Ronnie Spector is enough of a dream coming true to me. But I know that many people who are not born in my, you know, my year, 1995, you know, I'm speaking for the people who are, who lived through the 1960s or they lived through the 50s and, you know, around that time. Uh, and even before Bronnie became what she became with her fame and her success with all of her music and her band. You know, I'm sure that she has many fans who would have loved to be in my position to even speak to her. So that's the way I view it. And I think it's important to recognise that I'm not the only fan in the world who loves Ronnie. I'm not the only person who sees Ronnie's talents and can relate to it and can understand it. Ronnie went through a lot throughout her career it wasn't just through the whole kind of abuse and the physical with uh, Phil Spector but there is so much more to Ronnie and this is what I want people to remember about Ronnie is that Ronnie went through a lot and a lot of negative things and horrible things happened to her but I think the way I see it in my head is that we should remember people like Ronnie, like Amy Winehouse, you know, like all these women. Diana Washington is another one related to this topic. We should all remember these women who have lived their lives and they've done so much within their time when they were alive, not just musically or lyrically or being in the studio or also performing. But I think it's good that we highlight and we remember these women who have committed so much of their time and their service their compassion and love towards music and writing songs about anything that comes that comes from their head and their heart i think that's really important